it's twofold, right? You want to, uh, you, you love when you see uh, that athletic kind of spark where you see someone you, that's pretty good and guy took offline or made a big catch. And then you want to balance that with how they pick things up, how they learn, how they take coaching. You know, can they take something that was an emphasis in the meeting and put it on the field? And I think those two things kind of tell you how soon or how quickly you can progress with them. Inside, and if so, how does that change where you slide guys? Yeah, I, I think the probably the biggest plan will always be to put the five best guys in. That'll always be the, the, the first plan. And um, and yeah, we we often cross train guys. So Michael was cross trained last year at guard and tackle, and felt like the the best opportunity was him being a tackle. We're gonna cross train Beaton at guard and tackle on the left side. Cole Van Landen will be a left tackle and a right tackle. Patrick Castle will be a right tackle and a left tackle. So you try to give them a position and a uh, position to be able to, each guy has, has a second position. And to, uh, and that helps you, give you some leeway. You try to position in a way that you know you're gonna get the best five out of it. But I would say that's always got to dictate it a little bit. How much, how much progress have uh, Cole and, and Patrick made? Um, I think they've, uh, I think they've made a lot of progress. You know, um, I, I think it's uh, from how they work to how they approach things. They they see themselves as as not young guys. You know, I'll yell for the young guys, and it's always interesting who stays out and who who leaves. Um, they've been taken off sometimes. I yell at them to come back, but um, they, uh, they, I like the way they're approaching things and the way they're learning and their understanding is strong. And both of them had some roles in, in games where they had to jump out there and go compete in big moments, and it was good for them last year. Consider you've got your whole two deep back on the offensive line. I mean, you know it's early, but do you get a sense that this has a chance to be a really special low line and a long line of really good moves? Yeah, it'll be, I'll tell you what, it'll be real special if everyone improves. Like, we, like one of the first projects we did was we did a, uh, we did. I asked them for their vision, how they see themselves, what is their goals for this year, and then same thing with the offense and same thing with the team, and then I have them watch their best of tape, the best they did, um, their best clips, and then I tie that in with their worst clips. These are you at your absolute worst, and then I have them write it up. Okay, here's what I did well, you know, and marked it, and then here's what I didn't do well. And when you see yourself take a bad step on the backside of a cutoff and not get it done, you don't see it once that week when you're watching film. You don't see it twice, but you got to watch it 25 times. You know, if that's something that that stayed with you and that's something that you need to improve. So, and then we try to tie it in both things that could help them with the guys that are, are like Coach K, who's working with them in the weight room. Some guys it's strength, some guys it's flexibility. Those guys are amazing at what they're able to do and work with if those guys make it an emphasis of the, the player himself. So that's that's kind of how we tie it in. But if we get better, yeah, uh, I'm excited for this group. Is, uh, is Taiwan deal 100%, 100% now? How does how's he look out there? Um, I thought he looked good. You know, it's the first two days and we're not in pads, but I thought he looked good. I thought he's got confidence back in the ankle, which is good to see. And, and um, you know, I, I, I'm excited for him. I, I, I really hope for him he, he puts it all together and stays healthy, and, and that's what we're anticipating. So um, I like what I've seen so far. You've been around John Bowman for a number of years now. Now that the 10th assistant is official and he's in that role, what do you think makes him so good uh, with that group? Um, I, t I tell you the truth, um, our, the coaching staff on offense we'll, we'll, in general, I think the one attribute that the guys share is they teach. They teach, they have great relationships with, with, their, with their rooms, the guys trust them. Um, they, um, they know that there's a lot of preparation and work goes into what they're asking them to do. And I think Bud exemplifies that. You know, he's, he's got a great personality. He, he's, uh, he, th these guys know that he cares about them. They know that he puts tremendous time and effort and work in to, either, to coaching the smallest detail of what he's asking them to do. And I think, I think you earn that trust over time. And, and guys, all guys, want to improve and get better. And when you're coached to that and they see that and the guy that's doing it and helping them along the way is someone they care about, it's a pretty good thing, and that's what makes him special. And, and that's why I'm fortunate to work with the guys I get to work with. Do you remember whether it was your you know, time before as an assistant here or even the last two or three years, four years, a deeper wide receiver group than you have right now? Yeah, probably because it's so young, right? 
you know, it's it's a uh, it's a young group. You're not used to you're used to guys when they get good, they're they're out the door, you know. And and uh, it's um, you're excited about the youth there, and that you do have guys coming back with the experience that they have. And to be honest with you, I don't know that I do remember like a, a deeper group there, or guys that you thought could be the playmaker on trying to get guys in the right spot. You know, it's uh, I think it's a pretty good group right now. Has Jack Cohn made the biggest gains? Obviously, last spring it was his first spring game, but in fact, he got some reps. And where is he different at this stage now as a quarterback? Well, I, I think um, I, I think he's been through it, right? And he uh, um, he's been out there, and I think any time that even when you play um, a little and you have to go in each week knowing that you're a snap away, I think it. I think you, you look at. You look at the next year with different eyes. You look at film different. You look at your opportunities different. You look at the learning different. You read the words different. Like your eyes change because you know the importance of grasping that information. And um, and you could see it with him. He's got a lot of confidence and um, he's having fun. And he he's coming from a deeper a place of deeper understanding, which is which is pretty cool. I feel like. Uh... Jake Ferguson could play a significant role for you guys this year. Maybe is, is he not quite ready yet? No, I think there's great competition in the room. You know, in the tight end room. You know, obviously we're really pumped with with uh, Penniston and, and, uh, and Xander. Like those two guys have played a lot of football and, and they're tough and they're smart and they work. And Coach Turner does an amazing job with them. Um, and then you got a guy like Jake who's made a lot of plays. You know, uh, being a young guy and he's going to push. And that's what you need from each position. But Absolutely. I think he'll push. I've seen some good things out of guys like Gabe Lloyd and guys like Luke Benchwall and Coy Wainer. So there'll be some good competition. You know, those those adjuster roles, fullback, H's, tight ends, like those are those are huge. You know, Alec obviously will be a, a stalwart at the fullback position, but being able to fill those gaps and give us depth will be will be big for my group. Did you, going through the roster, it looked from last year, does it look like a lot of a bunch of guys dropped weight? Was that an intentional thing wanting to get more athletic. Well, Dieter was, or uh, Dietzen's down, Ben's okay. balls down. Yeah, I, I thought um, I do. Like I think I, I think at some point there's a lot of diminishing returns, right? Sure. The difference between being 330 and 350 probably isn't good, you know. And and um, really at the maturity they have now and the strength levels they've worked to, you know, trying to get them as explosive and as quick as they can with as you know, and, and Coach K and, and the guys in the weight room do a much better job of kind of drilling it, but they really want them to carry as much lean body mass as they can and feel like that makes them an explosive and quick an athlete without losing the strength in any way. And so that's just the, the drive for it. Okay.